Hello, in this video, we will learn about Office web apps and how you can use them to be more productive when you're on the go. First, let's log into Office 365 and get started with Office web apps. To do so, we'll open up a web browser and we'll browse to portal.office.com, sign in using our email address, Once you're signed in, to access the Office web apps, simply launch the browser-based version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote by clicking on the appropriate icon. We'll start off with Microsoft Word. Office web apps allows you to use the web browser equivalent of Microsoft Office applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It's almost indistinguishable from the full version of Microsoft Office on the desktop, but it enables you to be productive on the go by using the browser version of these software applications. So here as I launch Microsoft Word, you'll see it's almost identical to the full version of Microsoft Office. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to drag over the full version of Microsoft Office right below it, and you'll see we've got the same kind of menu bar look and feel here. So the browser is on the top, and the full version of Microsoft Word is right down here at the bottom. So we'll point out a couple of the differences. First of all, there's no save button. Everything you type is automatically saved. So as I'm typing, it's automatically saving all the changes. So no need to worry about hitting the save button. Another difference is when you want to rename a document, you do so by clicking up here on the document name in order to rename it. So here I'm giving it the title test three. And when you click away from it, that successfully renames that document. Other than that, you'll notice in the far top type right hand corner that you have the share button. The share button allows you to share this content very easily with one click. So just clicking on share, and now I can actually type in other people's names that I want to share a document with. Okay. Type in the test description here, but this is where you normally type in what it is that you want to inform the person about, and then you just click on send. So just within a few clicks, I was able to create a document and share a document using Office online. We used Microsoft Word in this example. We can also go to Microsoft Excel as well by just clicking on this Excel icon. Go ahead and click this. And now we're working in a browser version of Microsoft Excel. So we can enter in normal information here. So I'll just create a column header and then I'll put in some information like two, three, four, five. I can sum these contents. And we could do some formatting. So just as if you were working in the full version of Microsoft Excel, behaves very similar. Okay. And likewise, we have the share button up at the top. And if we want to rename it, we just click up here and give it a new workbook name. All right. That's Microsoft Excel. We'll turn now to Microsoft PowerPoint. So PowerPoint, again, looks very similar to the full version of PowerPoint. Creating a new presentation here. And we can insert content. So if I wanted to, let's go ahead and give this a different format here. And I can also give it a new design here as well. Go ahead and insert a new slide. And insert some information from being here. So I'll do... search so you can pull up 
pull in images right into the PowerPoint as well. Very easy to, to work with the platform. On the right side, it gives you some uh, design ideas, which are helpful. Helps you with formatting. Just clicking on that reformats the entire slide. So right there, and then I can click on share as well. Okay, last but not least, OneNote. So clicking on OneNote allows us to take notes. And then we can share those notes with others. So here is my test notebook here. I'll go ahead and create a new section called Meeting Minutes. We'll put in some information. So that's how you can easily create uh, shared notes. And then again, you can click on the share button in the top right. So all of these files that are here are automatically saved in OneDrive. So if I go back to OneDrive now, I can see the presentation, the Word document, the Excel document, all the content I created is stored automatically in my OneDrive. So that's just a brief overview of the Office web apps that are included in Office 365.